Greetings. Hello, hello. Good evening. <clears throat> Mark. Snakebite. Wendy. Hi. How's it going? Damn, did the intro just uh end and then put me in the game? I wanna see the intro. This? I think we might have to quit. I don't think restart restart does it. Fourteen hundred hours. All right, let's start it over. Anyway, we're playing King. Uh, King I almost said King's Quest. Playing Police Quest Three. Oh damn! You saw my scum VM. Oh, you can't see my screen though, dude. What is going on? Oh, there it is. Something's going. Something's happening. Now you can see it. Okay. Um. Oh, but it's like not. Updating. Try. Okay. I think this works. Dude, this music. <laughs> Got the Roland MT32 going. The emulator. You can tell. The good music. Hello, I'm Jim Walls, retired California Highway Patrol officer and designer of the Police Quest series. Police Quest, you're not just watching some movie star portraying the glamorous part of police work. Detective Sonny Bonds, you're the man behind the badge. It's up to you to learn and follow correct pol police procedure to make the right decisions in life and death situation. In real police work you have to know when to be a hero and when to rely on caution and use the other team players on the force some of the incidents in police quest 3 are based on actual events that occurred during the course of my career i managed to survive them let's see if you can do as well under pressure here's the scene you're about to be walking into litton Layton. once a quiet peaceful little town has been growing like a weed there's new industry good jobs and a decent standard of living Unfortunately, progress is not without its side effects. Poverty and crime are going up about as fast as the new cultural center. Homicide detective Sonny Bonds and his wife Marie are still on a honeymoon high from their wedding a few years back. I like this pose. <laughs> the, the foot on the bumper. Uh, Marie's got a good job at Oak Tree Mall and the two have a beautiful new home. As for Sonny, he was promoted to detective sergeant with the Lighton Police Department. As the story opens, Sonny is just finishing his sergeant's training and is back on duty. Overburdened as the department is, he's been assigned to traffic division for a bit. Seems traffic's always understaffed. Well, that's Sonny's life, and it's a good one, <laughs> worth protecting. Now it's time for you to assume the role of Detective Sonny Bonds. I happen to know you're in for a heck of a day. 
Got it. Shoot first and ask questions later. Hey, it's fourteen hundred and six. It's later. That that intro took six minutes or something. See? Now it's only fourteen hundred. I wonder if the timer in this game just runs. I don't really know. Damn, that's a lot of orange. Okay, how do we pause? This pause, game paused. Um. Okay. I wonder if this is at defaults. I was messing with this earlier. Um. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Police Quest series, but it's like a Sierra. They're like Sierra adventure games, at least the early ones. Like point and click adventure games, but they're like more realistic. And the manual comes with like a bunch of police, like terminology and procedures, like really basic um, versions of them. But there's like codes and terminology. There's like an emphasis on like doing doing it by the book, <laughs> playing the game, but like following the rules of police work or something. I know this because I I played the first two games in the series, but I played this one as a kid uh, at a friend's house. We both played it. And so I, I'm familiar with parts of it, but it's been like super long time. So I don't know how to solve any puzzles or what to do. And I know we never beat it because we were dumb kids. So we'll see. Maybe we, I don't remember. I, I remember thinking this game was sick. <laughs> we'll see if it's, if that's accurate and if we can figure it out, it might be really hard. I'm a little bit concerned about that timer. Um, and this, so this affects your walk speed. Does it affect the timer too? Like, look, check this out. <laughs> it's so slow. We don't want that. But maybe we also don't want it all the way up. Oh boy. Still pretty slow. Yeah, this is pretty good. A nice pace here. We pause in this game. Um, nothing is voiced. So there's going to be a, a lot of reading. Depends if there are donuts involved. Max speed. <laughs> Turbo speed to the donuts. A second level. Vader button. Door to the sergeant's office. Hey, that's you. Door to the homicide office. Get our bearings here. <coughs> Bulletin boards where people post articles of interest, personal ads, Chinese restaurant business cards. And to overlook scenic downtown Leighton. Is this a real city? Leighton or, or Lytton? Leighton? I guess. Probably California because this game's developed by Sierra and they were based in California. Um, I think this might be a fictional city. Okay, well, here's our office. Let's see where else we can go. There's Homicide. I'm on floor two, but the elevator light makes it look like it's three. Smoke detector. 
Best results hold directly over flame. <laughs> the door to vice, window to vice, criminal psychologist's office. There's one in Iowa. Oh, really? I wonder if this take place in Iowa. Briefing room. Guess we'll, oh yeah, inventory. Got a gun, Beretta 9mm, handcuffs, stainless steel, of course, 10 bucks. <laughs> Let's go to our office, I guess. Ah, yes. Our desk is over here. Desk is neat and orderly, probably because you don't spend a lot of time here. Ah, some of the fine art displayed here at the Lytton County Police Department. The bulletin board in here has information so old there's a missing person bulletin about Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> I don't I don't have a concept of when that was. In the 60s? 70s? File drawers. Law reference materials, lieutenant's desk. Yep, that's the lieutenant stuff. Sergeant's office. It's a garbage. Phone. In and out basket. Appears to have something in it. Computer occupies the center of your desk. In this business, the computer is an indispensable tool. 70s. Okay. Let me just, uh, oh, have a seat. Departmental disciplinary action form with a note attached. Note disappeared in 75. Okay, that's kind of a good trivia thing to know. Note from the lieutenant reads, Bonds, please interview Officer Pat Morales regarding a complaint. The complaint, complainant alleges that the officer used profanity and verbally abused him during the issuing of a citation. Determine disciplinary action, if any, based on your interview. Leave this form on my desk when you're done. Ding, that's a point. <laughs> okay. I don't know how fast I have to do that. Um, do we need to use the computer or something? Computer access. You prefer to catch the criminals. Let the lawyers read all that crap. <laughs> you want to sit on that hard visitor's chair when you can sit on your own comfy one. All right, where's Morales? Let's go give him the business. My One of my duties as a sergeant. I read that in the manual. Uh, briefing room? Maybe he's on the floor of the third floor. I didn't get to a map in the Maybe we should have finished reading it. Briefing for me. Officer Carl Law. Kevin Miller. He's one of the old school cops. That, the female officer is Pat Morales. You hear she's a tough cookie. Officer Joseph Banks. Young, smart, and takes his job very seriously. Am I giving the briefing? <laughs> Podium is used for giving briefings. They look like they're ready for a briefing. Can we check the manual? Hold on. Let's just finish thumbing through it. Okay. Or we paused. Hold on. Um, I've got it open here. Here's military time, traffic officer, procedures. Supervisor responsibility. Okay. 
Physical arrest procedure. Oh yeah, I looked at that. Levels of force. So. Okay. Acquired equipment. Special operating procedure. Computer, breathalyzer, felony situations. We might have to break this thing out. Mid-game. Gaining entry into private property. Forceful entry into dwellings. Oh, there's a map. Guide for new cadets. Uh, okay. First day briefing walkthrough. I don't think I want to do that. There's some notes, some lore. Okay. We'll come back to this if we need to look up procedure. I feel like I shouldn't. Can't give the briefing that way. Let's just go give the briefing. Know what to do. <laughs> okay. Can we get on with the briefing, Sarge? We've got a date with a coffee shop. How do I do it? <laughs> oh, clipboard contains the notes for today's briefing. Begin the briefing. Good afternoon, people. We'll be filling in for Sergeant Jacko while he's on vacation. Advise the afternoon shift of the procedural information and announcements listed on the clipboard and close by saying, have a safe shift and think about making right-hand approaches on your traffic stops. Read that in the manual too. Hey, Morales, can you stay after class? I have a word with you. Morales, I need to have a word with you in my office after this afternoon's briefing. Sure, Sarge. I'd love to come hear some idiots complain. It would make my day. Damn. The live wire. What are you doing? Uh, Officer Joe Banks responds after being interrupted from his report writing. E Sarge, I'd really like to finish this report. the lights off on it <laughs> hey morales how about you just fucking relax okay i don't want to have to deal with these events You have a serious talk with Morales. I have a complaint here alleging that you were verbally abusive to one of the violators you stopped. <laughs> complaint states that you yelled, screamed, and used profanity. That is not going to fly in this department. So what do you want from me? The guy was a jerk. <laughs> Listen, I'm on your side here. You'd have liked to do more than file a complaint, if you know what I mean. And in the interview, you ask. All right, why don't you tell me what happened? Pull the guy over, right? He's going 75, maybe 80 in a 50 mile zone. Walk up to the car and boom, right away he starts eyeing me and lipping off. I'm to put up with that crap? You ask Officer Morales directly. You raise your voice and use profanity with the man or not? Look, you try being a woman cop for just one day and then tell me how to do my job. Truthfully, I don't remember what the hell I said, but whatever it was, I had damn good reason. Listen, Morales. Okay, that's it for now. Get back on duty, see if you can keep the civil in civil servant. Sarge, whatever you say. 
dude. I need to think about what you've learned regarding the civilian complaint. Oh, shit. Unfounded? Exonerated? Sustained? Undetermined? Uh, what do you guys think here? My instinct is, since Sonny does shit by the book, I think he's sustained. I feel like, or is it undetermined? Because she said she wasn't sure what she said. But that's not good either. You know, she's not representing the department in a positive way, professional manner. Although I don't doubt that the guy was rude, also. Where's the body cam footage? Yeah, this is like <laughs> 20 plus years too early. When did this game come out? Sustain that shit? You think she needs discipline? She's gonna go on her permanent record. I think I think so too. I wonder if the clock is running. I'm looking at this. Sustained. Ding. You leave the complaint on the lieutenant's desk. Hey, there's something new in here. Remove a requisition form for a computer access card from the basket. Computer ID request form. Okay. Guess I have to like give that to someone. Let's go. <clears throat> Probably not on this floor. Oh, I see. The elevator was maybe at a different floor when it was lit up. Oh, this is second floor, I guess. Let's see what's on third floor. Ah, looks like a, a bunch of nerds. Mike Downs is the head technician. He runs the computer facility. Dispatch is busy monitoring the police band. Law enforcement has certainly gone high tech, hasn't it? <laughs> Table holds various computer magazines, none of which interests you. Size of the department's main computer banks always astounds you. Mike's in an out basket, Mike's cabinet, Mike's desk. I'm gonna just slap this thing in his basket. No? I'll give it to him. You hand the requisition form to Mike, the head technician. Hey, no problem. You got the new Mark V model, don't you? What a beaut. <laughs> Goes from 0 to 30 megahertz in 3.5 seconds. <laughs> and it has a 4 megabyte memory capacity, XGA graphics, and a 5 millisecond network access time. You wait for Mike to shut up, but like a streak of bad luck, he keeps going. Yeah, 30 megahertz. Don't spill coffee on it, man. Just seeing what I had to go through when the chief dropped ice cream all over his. Yuck. <laughs> cool, Mike. Mike logs your new card and places it on. Okay, Bonds, here's your card. It goes in face up, arrow first. I know that's a little hard for you cop types to handle, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> Damn. Real simple, man. Just boot up your machine and stick in your card. Thanks, Mike. Mike mumbles to himself. Getting sick and tired of cops who don't return things. You hear Mike tell the dispatcher, get on the radio and tell that dimwit Banks to get that tracking device back to me. Damn. Officer Banks says he needs the tracker for three more days. Mike hangs up in disgust. <laughs> Head technician Mike Down stops his work and says, Listen, Sarge, I'm a very busy person. Okay. Hey, yeah, Mike. A pleasure. 
Should we turn on our computer? I don't know what it's for, really. Sonny Bonds, please call dispatch at once. Me. Save it. You can, like... Sierra games are famously unforgiving. Die or game over. The drop of a hat. <clears throat> hey, there's a button for it. Oh. <laughs> Sonny, we need you to drive out to Aspen Falls to respond to a call. All their units are occupied. You take the cop off the street, but you can't take the street out of the cop. A eh, Sonny? Oh well, it's getting stuffy in here anyway. Time to roll. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Is there a pole I can go down? Is that for firefighters only? Do I have a partner or do I I ride solo? On this floor, this probably isn't what I want. Storage closet, locker room. I feel like I'm dressed for success. I've got my gun. Let's take the black and white. Can we just take it? I'm on traffic. Oh yeah, I have a map somewhere. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> Let's peek at the map. Uh, police station is here. But I think it said I'm on. Am I on Sixth Street? Southbound on 6th. And they said Alpine? Wonder if I should be showing you guys the map. You wanna see it? Oh, you know why? Still can't see it, huh? Map it out on the app? That's a funny idea. <laughs> hey, it doesn't work. Try it. At least the music works. It is good. Okay, I realize it's black here. Looking for Alpine Street. Wait, didn't they say Alpine? The yeah, Alpine. Uh, I think so. Points of interest. It's upside down. Maybe Alpine is like a neighborhood. Parkway Drive, Poppy, Lily, Rose, Peach, Big, Oak, Palm. They're like all trees. River Road. Parkway Drive, Clearwater Drive. Yeah, I don't... I don't see an alpine. <laughs> Hold on. There's actually two maps. Oh, Aspen? Could it have been Aspen? Must be. Aspen 
There's two Aspens on here. There's an Aspen Road, and there's a recreation area. How am I supposed to know where to go? Uh, I need drive. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, here's Lily. I'm, I'm southbound. I want to go east. The left, right? Going 25. Uh, what? Okay, that's the computer. Down on Poppy. 8th Street. Go faster? How do I know what the call is? these do <laughs> oh shit put the lights and gun it oh stop ahead <laughs> that's why we saved it those curves just sneak right up on you don't they <laughs> friend did i um did i save it after oh score zero wait 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 you boob you're already there or zero hey i saved it oh this one there we go score 14 okay did we call dispatch can't remember Okay, drive out to Aspen Falls to respond to a call. That might, okay, oh, getting stuffy, okay. <laughs> he went over the curb at full speed. That was sick. <laughs> the lights go and ramped it. Uh, I already like this game. It seems so dry, but there's like funny shit that happens. It's a nice combination of dry and funny. That was ridiculous. Okay, so the Aspen Falls whatever is in the here, let's speed up a bit. Um in the southeast corner of the map. So I want to go all the way to, uh, what is it called? Not Poppy. River. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to load quick. They didn't like that I blew that stop sign. Do I get to have my uh, lights and sirens on if if I'm just responding to a call? Because as far as I know, it's not really an emergency. I don't know. I think I could just drive over there. Like ca kind of casual, like I'm gonna save like right before I get in the car this time. And then we're going to have to really be diligent about these saves going forward. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, God. No, they didn't say what... That's true. They didn't say what it was. Could be an emergency. True. I, don't, I still don't think I want to blow the stop sign, though, I guess. Do you have to, like, break multiple times? <laughs> it's 
not speed. Okay, so here... Um... Gonna play it by ear. track Aspen Falls okay do I need a break suddenly or oh, oh god okay 13th <laughs> was I supposed to stop oh I think I was supposed to stop I think I was supposed to stop Okay, so let's take all the lefts. Past it. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh my god. There's no lefts. Oh fuck. Okay, you gotta really wait till you see it, otherwise you just switch lanes, which seems dangerous. Oh, what? Wait, why are there only rights? I wonder if this is if time is a factor right now. Oh, shit. Okay, now this time when it says whatever, Aspen, we're just gonna stop. Time to get out. Okay, here we are. Expertly done. Uh, hello. Oh, officer, thank God. You've got to stop that man. He's a raving lunatic. Let's get, let's try to, something has disturbed the picnickers. Let's get the lay of the land first. Woman seems close to hysteria over something. Something has disturbed the picnickers. So it seems to be the problem, ma'am. There's a madman over there. Why? Why? He's almost butt naked, ranting and raving about aliens from outer space. He's going to hurt someone. <laughs> Calm down, ma'am. I'll take care of it. The woman is hysterical and won't calm down until you take care of the alleged crazy man. Where is he? Okay. <laughs> the man's clearly in a deranged state of mind, though whether because of drug use or some mental instability is unclear. This part... I remember very well <laughs> from like a long time ago, 30 years ago. A pile of clothes probably belonging to the half-naked perpetrator is sitting by the rocks unattended. The river's considerably, con oh, the river's considerable undertow turns the waters into a muddy green. Two large rocks mark a favorite spot for wading. Okay, come on, man. 
You there, leave this place. I've got to secure it before the Bethonians come. And his eyebrows are going nuts. Clear out. Get away. The mothership approaches. You there, leave this place. Okay. Uh, sir, I'm going to need you to calm down, please. No need to panic, sir. <laughs> okay. You there, don't try to stop me. You'll be vaporized if you interfere. Hey, what are you doing? That's my badge. <laughs> Bethonians scoff at your badge, lawman. The mothership will squash you like a pimple. This is your last warning. Can't believe this guy. Deranged men can be re real slippery. I believe him. I'm warning you, if you don't leave, I'm gonna have to hurt you. This area must be evacuated. Fortunately, you're carrying a spare shield. You put it on. <clears throat> you have a taser? I don't think tasers exist yet. Do they? Uh, I was going to look up what year this game came out. 1991. Did tasers exist in 1991? I'm not sure. Or if they did, were they like in use? A bitch. Pile of clothes, probably belonging to the half-naked perpetrator sitting by the rocks unattended. I'm gonna snag the clothes. He likes that. Search the deranged man's clothes, hoping for something which will lure him out of the water. Find a set of keys and a driver's license. Hey fella, I think I've got something of yours. Leave those keys alone, foolish mortal. <laughs> I love this guy. Let's look at him. You have the nuts keys. This is Brian Forbes' license. 789612. I wonder if I can like call that in or what do I do with that? They say they're being used in the 90s? Okay. Can't subdue him from here. Come out of there right now. You must leave now. If you're here when they come, you'll be toast. If you're here when they come, you'll be crushed like a pimple under the weight of the glorious mothership. <laughs> Warning you, mortal, you must leave now or die. I shoot him. I wonder what kind of stuff you can do in this game. Let's save it. And then just try some stuff for fun. Ah, I'm tired of this guy. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking domed him? Getting a perpetrator whose only threat to use his mouth and fists is no way to uphold the law. You're suspended from the LPD. The press has a field day discussing police brutality. Holy shit. Okay. I thought maybe they would let you do it. But that was pretty brutal. Honestly. That was brutal. <clears throat> Fine, you'll be hired by another department, dude. Messed up. What is this? Oh, you can like stage an item or something? Or is that the item you currently have selected? Lunatic is not impressed. I wonder if I can call it in and like get his record or whatever. No, I'm not going to drive. I want to use the radio. I don't know. I'm just trying stuff. It's my first day on the job. Dude, this fucking music. Driver's ID. Yeah, you gotta memorize it. <laughs> All right, get out of here. 
Oh my god, searching, searching. Okay, uh... 789612. Yeah, I couldn't hit Q. I was done searching. Brian Forbes, 120 Peach, Lighten USA, 5'6, 90 pounds. Okay. Brown, brown. Class C. He's been identified. I wonder if it would tell me if he had like a warrant or something. Get out of here. Yeah, 90 pounds. I should be able to take him. Oh, no, he's gone. Did he drown? Maybe the Bethonians uh, beamed him up, it says. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> I lost track of him. Is that the is the situation under control? He's loose. He's loose. I think they're not gonna like that I lost track of him. All right, well, he's gone. Have a nice day, everybody. <laughs> yeah. How do I use the radio for Pete's sake? Oh, it's a map. Oh, I see. Oh. Failure to secure the deranged man resulted in a few civilian injuries when he attacked a nearby family. You're suspended. If you can't handle an unarmed man, how can you expect to function when things get really get tough? Damn. Suspended. Man, I was right. They don't like that. A deal with this guy. Release those keys, mortal. I am the chosen one, not you. <laughs> You're a tailor now? Can we put him in the tree? I could throw him into the water, but it seems like it would just enrage him. Hauling on your old softball arm, you haul back and throw the keys as far as you can into the river. <laughs> there, now your keys and my badge are neighbors. <laughs> I'll kill you for that, you flat-headed, flat-footed ignoramus. Get, get ready. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Don't just stand there while you're being attacked. Do something. It's called self-defense. I had a watch icon. Yeah. <laughs> Took one in the jaw. Wrecked. I did get wrecked. Dude, did you see the watch? Here, I'm gonna back up this time so I have more time to react. Here you go, dipshit. Oh, he goes over here anyway. There, now your keys and my badge are neighbors. <laughs> Can I click him? Oh, fucking watch, dude. Use the cuffs? He's coming right at me. No. <laughs> How do 
I put them away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do I subdue him? The watch icon. Click him. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sarge is really taking a beating here. Maybe I need something. I didn't bring something like a, like my nightstick or whatever. It talked about a nightstick in the uh okay. I can't leave the scene though. Maybe it's possible in these Sierra games to like hose your game. So it could be that like, oh, I was supposed to do something here and I fucked it up. Like can I get something out of the trunk? Or is there a nightstick in here? What's in here? What's this? Pedometer calibration chart. Are you kidding me? I pop the trunk in this. Failure to secure the drainage man resulted in a few civilian injuries. Dude, this like took too long, I think, that time. Feel like shooting him is justified. He's unarmed though. I should be able to just take him down. Unarmed. I don't understand why the I have a watch icon. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try backing way up here. Can we get it in the trunk? Like, what is this? Your flares? Metal briefcase. Oh, scraping tool. Envelope, camera, toothpick. Do I not have a nightstick? I get out of here. Um. Oh, backing up. We're backing up. There was a storage closet on the other floor. Let's just check it. I want to cover all my bases here. I don't want to have to shoot that guy. <laughs> Oh, batteries, flares, okay. Let me see what it says in the manual about the nights. I remember specifically reading something. Okay, oh, here's the levels of force. Uh, level one, passive, verbal resistance. Usually occurs during the questioning of suspects and while on traffic stops. Firm professional conduct, conduct will, in most cases, prevent the situation from escalating. Level two, threats indicating imminent physical attack, no weapons used. Call for backup if possible. Use department approved hand to hand combat. Use PR24. PR24 is the nightstick. Um, I saw that 
somewhere. Uh, required equipment for the police officer. ER 24, nightstick. Where is that thing? Yeah, I, it does seem like my nightstick is missing in action. Well, in the locker room. Leave it in my locker. Oh, I nailed it. Kind of the central locker. What was my combination? Oh yeah, I wrote it down on the inside cover of my police manual. Oh, is it is it this? Copy protection. It's all right, I got that here. Seven seventy six. Ah, ER-24, the flashlight too, why not? Notebook, dude, we need a notebook. Okay, so we weren't really ready before, obviously. Okay, now we're ready to respond to that call. Look at all these points we have now. I don't remember. The description. Um, ground floor. Oh, did I already call dispatch? I think I did. Evidence lockup and lab analysis. Prisoner booking in jail. Lockers. Okay. Oh fuck! No, I hadn't. Uh, hadn't responded to the call. Sonny, we need you to drive out to Aspen Falls. Okay, got it. Can't wait. Okay, this time we're gonna nightstick that guy. Although, where were the hand-to-hand -hand approved, uh, department approved hand-to-hand -hand techniques, Sonny? Where was my judo chop button? Put that guy in a German suplex or other kind of professional cop moves. Music is so sick. Okay, we're gonna speed up this time. We're going south. Oh, I think you can like go off the road if you take turns too fast. I don't remember that. Going fifty five.
Okay, here we are on the scene. Oh, officers, thank God. Stop that raving lunatic. <laughs> yep. On it. Okay, let's save now. guy we'll give description sure so a casual saunter okay here's our boy let's just assess the situation yep the mothership the Bethonians scoff at your badge, lawman. This guy's pretty cool. Okay, now, your keys of my badge are neighbors. Take my bitch. <laughs> Managing to subdue the deranged man with the nightstick, you check for injuries and see something. What did it say? So fast. already down police brutality wasn't part of your training i think he's subdued tough him more shaken up than hurt damn the messages go so fast computer's too fast maybe that speed governed as well Guy's not saying anything that makes sense. Checking for weapons. Searching a wet and nearly naked man like this is particularly unpleasant. Nevertheless, you're glad you did when you discover a knife concealed in his briefs. Whoa. I hope that's a folding knife. It is. That would be crazy otherwise. Okay, now I guess I put him in the car. Make sure the deranged man is secured and belted into the front of your patrol car? What? Front? Is that my only option? Watch out, dude. He looks pretty squirrely. Be careful with him. <laughs> Job, officer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, front. <laughs> this is a two-door police car? Oh my god. Your buddy, Mr. Looney Tunes. Can we use the radio now? Hey, what do I do now? Just bring him down for booking? I'm gonna look at the procedures quick. Love the fucking music in this game. Uh... Graphic officer. Physical arrest procedure. Handcuffing. All male suspects shall be cuffed with hands behind the back. All female suspects shall be cuffed. Cuffing with hands in front or rear is left to the discretion of the officer. However, due to the increase of assaults, the department recommends hands to the rear. Assault says. I'm just taking him downtown. Fuck. What else could we need? You know, we looked him up. Maybe we should do that. Seven, eight, nine, six, two. So we have all the info. 
Searchings. Brian Forbes, there he is. Brian, how about you uh chill the fuck out, huh buddy? Okay. Westbound on river. Westbound. Where are we westbound? Okay, we just need to take a right on sixth. Alcap baby, greetings. Welcome. Welcome to the mean streets. Okay, I got a couple blocks here. We'll be back at the station. <clears throat> Lily, we're almost there. Rose. PD. Oh, it's past break time. Too busy doing police procedure. Okay. What is this? I gotta put my weapon in the locker. Read that in your guide. What is this? Prisoner booking and jail. All right, man. Move it. How do I move him? Come on, this way. <laughs> Got a live one here, Tony. Whatever your name is. I wonder if the guy will even make it through one night in jail or whether they'll ship him right out to the men mental institute. And the protective glasses. Officer Smith, the booking officer. Payphone. Towel dispenser. Ugh. It's not uncommon for prisoners to leave bodily fluids. Of one kind or another on the floor. Gas chromatograph. She measures blood alcohol content of breath samples. Get this prisoner booked, Bonds. I bet there's a procedure for this. What's like? Booking. Booking evidence. Oh. Booking prisoner. <clears throat> Remove all personal items from the prisoner's pockets and place them into the booking drawer. Submit proper violation code. Okay. Got some penal codes. Uh. Assault. Um. What do we want to do? Resisting arrest, assault and battery on a police officer. Possession of a concealed weapon. I'm going to save it. Book him. No. Shut up, Eve, or whatever your name is. Knife in the drawer. You mean to tell me you fish that out of this guy's shorts? You've got some guts, Bonds. <laughs> the license into the drawer. 
Oh, the keys are in the fucking river. Tough shit. Finish up and hand him over, Bonds. Already searched him. He didn't enjoy it much the first time. So, what are we booking this fine, upstanding citizen on anyway? Damn. <coughs> uh, what do we want? Do we just get one choice? Do we count that as assault on a police officer? He, like, lunged at me. That's assault, right? Is that attempted assault? Or Well, let's just try it. Two, four, five, D, one. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Penal code. Where are the violation codes? The penal codes or violation codes. The penal codes. Oh, there's vehicle codes. But he wasn't driving. Possession of a concealed weapon, maybe? Who trained this rookie? 12025. There we go. Ding. <clears throat> Returning your cuffs here through the drop box. Don't forget them. Hey, Bonds. Officer Morales is requesting a supervisor something something. He's waiting out on the freeway near the 7th Avenue on-ramp. Okay. Weird for him to just tell me that. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's break time. Let's go on break. I wish I could play the intro music. I wonder if I could find it. Okay, nice. How's this sound? kind of loud but that's okay okay i'll be back in like five minutes be right back
Okay, it looks like the music ended. The YouTube video I found was not. I like that intro song though. <clears throat> I was trying to find it on repeat. See if somebody had looped it. No such luck. Okay, what were we doing? Um. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh shit. They. He told me what street. Oh, on the freeway. Uh, but what exit? I don't even know how to get on the freeway. Oh wait, get my gun. Don't forget. Okay, get on the freeway. Uh, okay, I see the exits here. We, oh shit, um, we need to take a right. Go west. And I'm Poppy. We'll go right on 4th Street. Street. I think that's the exit, they said. And then... Oh, it's the next thing. Really? Oh no. East. I miss it? Each Avenue. Up ahead you see a black and white pulled off the freeway along with the detained vehicle. You slow down and pull to the side. Nice. Looks pretty correct. Family truckster. <laughs> Look at this wagon. It's sick. Right side, Sunny. What do we got, Morales? Hey, boss man, you handle it. Why is the re violator refusing to sign the ticket? Who knows? Geez, first I get the stupid cow, now I have to deal with you too. Damn, Morales has an attitude problem. The policy about calling a supervisor for failure to sign sucks. Look, I don't need you. I'm taking her downtown. No, you're not. 
You're going to stand right here until I have a chance to talk to the violator. Is. Presses you as being both arrogant and stubborn. One woman in the car, she looks upset but not dangerous. 83756. Should we have checked that? Oh, we checked that, right? 83756. Not the time to turn your back. Okay, too late. No, wrong side, dude. Can't the young lady see that she's pregnant and nearly full term? Introduce yourself to the woman and say, <clears throat> Hear my throat? Your signature on the citation is not an admission of guilt, ma'am. Only your promise to appear. I don't care. You think I'm afraid to sign a stupid tech ticket? If it was a check for 10000 I wouldn't sign it. Blah, blah, blah. Can't believe the LPD would allow someone like her to patrol our streets. What a waste of our tax money. She's rude, abusive, and insulting. I refuse to sign a ticket for anyone who calls me fat girl. <laughs> would you please reconsider and sign the citation? Hell no. Take me to jail. You're not supposed to take pregnant women to jail. I read that. Unless for a traffic stop. What should I do with this lady, you think? We should write her a ticket. Oh, she already wrote her. All right, Morales. Violator said you were abusive and rude. Why don't I have a hard time believing that? Look, Sarge, it's obvious the lady's hysterical. She'd pop off if you looked at her funny. She's been belligerent and hostile ever since I stopped her. She's begging for a night in jail. What are you going to do, boss man? <clears throat> I will witness her failure to sign. Wisely and correctly, you write refusal to sign. Jeez, where'd you get your trainings? Charm school? Just let her walk all over you, why don't you? He's pregnant, Morales. Read the manual. Woman only winces as though the emotion of the situation is causing her physical stress. Okay, are we done here? Oh, what was her plates? Fuck. I think we're done here. I just had to come do supervisor stuff. Okay, so we need to exit. Um, I guess with the next exit. God, <laughs> do we have to slow down for that? I should save. Cruising. End freeway. You reach the end of your jurisdiction, you turn around and head in the other direction. Okay. <clears throat> I think you gotta slow down. Wow, this guy's going really fast. Oosh. Uh... The other vehicle's too far ahead of you. Oh. Pull over, sir. These your lights. Finally begins to pull over. Nice. We got him. his ass three four five six seven dude we need to check those before I get out of the car I guess not but you would think so vertible has only one occupant there's nothing unusual looking about him yeah this fucking track oh you were dancing for the last track but what about this one Do 
good lord, where'd you come from? Must have fell out of the sky, man, because I never saw you. <laughs> Sir, I'll need to see your driver's license and registration, please. You know why I stopped you? I know, I know, I was speeding. I had to do it, man. I'm on my way to see a beautifully constructed female. Damn, he's talking too fast. I tried to picture it, officer. She's got these legs. Have mercy. They go all the way up. <laughs> a little too fast. Listen, man, I get it. Yeah, this guy. Whoa, Mr. Hanley, if you promise to slow it down, I'll give you a warning. Hear ya. Slow it down. Have a good evening. <laughs> oh, I will. Damn, that guy was cool. Get out of here. Her legs go all the way up. Damn, end of the freeway again? Okay. Okay, we'll just exit out the first take. What? Slow car impeding traffic in the fast lane. Dude, I gotta pull that over. Pull this guy over. Oh shit. <laughs> Low rider. This game is sick. Lower 58 Ford Fairlane. Nice flame job. cop knows that you never approach a detained vehicle from the driver's side. Better crack open that off officer's manual bone up on correct procedures. Dude, I read that, but he walked up to it anyway. I guess I'm supposed to go around from the front? I think I just fucking saved. <clears throat> that scream... No, oh, no. Why are you doing that? I guess this way I'm looking at the traffic. Oh shit. Sir, I pulled you over because you were driving too slow in the fast lane and traffic was backing up behind you. Finished by requesting his driver's license and registration. <coughs> what you talking about, man? You guys always just want to hassle me. <laughs> This guy is sick. Say S A. Oh boy. You can check out my ride. I have a brand new Smoglia device. Just don't lean on my new paint job. I don't know what that is. Checking the registration, you hand it back to him and he says, You pigs are all the same, man. Hey, whoa. That is abusive. I'm going to issue a citation for impeding traffic. I cannot believe this, man. I was just trying to keep from getting bugs all over my new flame job. Did I get his license plate? Shit. I'm not going to remember. Uh. Two two seven seven six. Ah, shit. Can't backspace.
<laughs> going to search. <laughs> Do I even need to do this? I guess it's good practice, right? See his cars in Juan Jose Ruiz. Nine Ford. What what's the date? I don't know what date it is. Ninety one, I guess. Identify. Um license. Four three four three zero one. Becca, greetings. Four three four three zero one. What is the shenanigans? We're the police. We're cleaning up these streets. Here he is. Okay, checks out, right? What's form 900? Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Put the driver's license into this slot. This activates the computer. Form 900. <clears throat> oh, nice. It fills it out. Enter military time. How do I know what time it is? I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Am I supposed to remember? Uh, cancel, cancel. Look here, I can't do anything right now. Oh, how do I do that? I can't uh, look at my inventory. Oh, tab, tab opened it up. I don't think I have a watch. Okay. Um, there's a reference card in your car. Oh. Uh, map view in third person in the radio. Make up a time. Uh, what was it? It was like 1630. Vehicle code. Gotta remember that shit. Oh, this game is hard. Okay, I better get to do that again. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Vehicle code, plate ID, right? I don't remember what it is though. Shit. <laughs> like, okay. We gotta remember this for next time. <clears throat> Get out of the damn car. 22776. 22776. When do we shoot the perps? I did shoot one perp earlier, but I wasn't supposed to. It's pretty funny and brutal. Vehicle ID, 88996. And it is we the time oh god don't walk out into the highway yeah i mean there is a watch icon <laughs> i already forgot the fucking number that i talked about
I'm looking at the manual here quick. I think it showed me the time when I showed up. And that's what we get. <clears throat> that's kind of what it seems like. We might... I think they're going to penalize me for being wrong. Apparently they have some rules about that in this game. I don't know. Seems unrealistic. <laughs> it does. I already forgot. What is it? 2276? Or that's not enough. Shit. I gotta start writing this stuff down. I think they want you to do that. 2776. That sounds right. And that gives us vehicle ID, uh, 88996, oops, 88996. Oh, you already have the ticket. The ticket's fucked up. It's like wrong, he's gonna get off. I think they're gonna tell me I have to do this over. Here's your ticket, sir. After handing the ticket and his license to Mr. Ruiz, he says, Aye, man, you pigs make me want to puke, man. <laughs> I'll see you in the people's court, man. Judge Wapner will take care of you, S.A. You have a nice day, sir. <laughs> I'm going to get a talking to here, certainly. have to slow down so much on the freeway exit ah son of a bitch <clears throat> and freeway god damn it I'm speeding Driving this game is hard. Whoa, that guy's going really fast. Eighteen forty-three. Make a note of it. Oh, she's getting out of the car. Oh, dude, put your shit down <laughs> I didn't want to shoot I wanted to point the gun at him they're not gonna like that the man you killed was an allied agent reaching for his badge to ID himself your trigger finger gets you five years in jail and kills your career <laughs> I don't think I saved for a while ah, we gotta do the lowrider stopover but that's okay, because we can do it right this... What was the time? Did we see it? We don't see it.
No, 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 no. <laughs> that was a bit of a misinput there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Man, you really got to be careful. These streets. Let me go check your shit. This time I'm just gonna let him off with a warning. I don't have to fill out the fucking paperwork, dude. Okay, so first is plate ID is 22776. Okay, that all checks out. His driver ID, 434301. <clears throat> okay. Oh, fucking go around. Get killed. Decide not to issue Mr. Ruiz a citation. Handing him his license, you say, Mr. Ruiz, I'm going to let you off with a warning this time. We'll drive with the flow of traffic from now on. Oh, shit, I missed it. He said thanks, I think. You have a good day, sir. Nice. Everyone's happy. All right. Let's save it. Let's get this one. I don't know what number I'm on. Makes the numbering kind of useless. Eastbound. I just want to take any exit. They come and go so fast. Shouldn't have to slow down to Okay, eastbound on Peach. We want to go northbound on seventh. No, oh, what are you doing? Oh, meanwhile at the Oak Tree Mall, Sonny's wife Marie is just getting off work. Uh oh. Bit ominous. Cool nineties hair. <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. What? <laughs> no. Back to this chill music. Radio call interrupts your thoughts of being home with Marie tonight. Dispatch. 64S2 Lighten. Six four. What the fuck does that mean? Hold on. Look at the book. Radio codes. No. Maybe that's my R number. Lighten 64 S2, go ahead. Yeah, that is my car number. Bond to an assault at the Oak Tree Mall, 300 East Rose, S2. Fortunate. Um, I am on 7th. 
200 East Rose. Okay, so I would think that would be I think we want to I don't know do northbound on seven. Four. Oak. Oak, where are we? We're way up here. Okay, westbound on oak. I think we want to get off on 4th Street. What was that? And then right on... What was it? Rose? I think it was Rose. They say rose. <laughs> we gonna miss it. Okay, we're back on Rose. <coughs> yeah, the music in this game is really good, actually. Three hundred block of Rose, I thought that should be like right here, dude. I don't know where I'm going. We load it. Let's get the message again. What do they say? Avenue. Eastbound on Pete. What was that? Shit. What street was that? Here we go. Skip it. Although it's pretty cool. Maybe we should have watched it. Okay. Oak Tree Mall, 300 East Rose. Oak Tree Mall. Three hundred. Oh, oh. I, that was West. That was West Rose. It was on West Rose. <clears throat> I 
Okay, the numbers are confusing. Three hundred East Rose. What is S two? Can't turn my lights on? Um, southbound on 9. <clears throat> See? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. I was going the wrong way. He's on Poppy. North on 10th. West on Lily. Right on 9th. Okay. Here's Rose. Go this way? Ah, oh, okay, Mall. First thing that strikes you is that the car belongs to Marie. Then you see the paramedics working over a body. Panic begins to overwhelm you as you race to the ambulance. Oh no, you think this just can't be not Marie. Look at these guys. <laughs> We're ready. If you're going, you'd better climb in, officer. Jump in the ambulance, respond. It goes so fast sometimes. We gotta slow it down a little bit. Marie's rush to light in general emergency where doctors begin the race to save her life. They work through the night, fighting to stabilize Marie's condition. Sonny spends hours of agony in the waiting room. Although they manage to save her life, Marie remains in a coma. Everyone in this game is a hunk. Yeah. Top game. He's finally allowed to see her. Sunny holds her hand until the pre-dawn hours, hoping and searching for some sign that she'll come back to him. And Four in the morning. Well, Doc. Officer Bonds, I'm Dr. Wagner, the resident neurosurgeon. Sorry to say that your wife's condition is still quite serious. She's suffering from internal injuries sustained from the multiple stab wounds. How long she will remain in a coma is anyone's guess. <clears throat> in my experience, the presence of a loved one urging the patient back from that void is an incalculable asset. Doing all we can for her physically, but you might be the only one who can reach her now. That seems a little dramatic, Doctor. The nurse found this chain clutched in your wife's hand. Deathbird, what is up? We're having a somber moment. Sergeant Bonds, you look beat. You really should go home and try to get some rest. There's nothing to be done for your wife right now. We can all feel good about the fact that Marie is alive. Please deploy the somber hamster break dance emotes. Yeah, the, exactly. KG monitor. Your beloved wife lies motionless in a coma. You wish there was some way to know what she's thinking. If she... Yeah. 
Visual readout indicates freeze IV dosage. A light flare. <laughs> and Oh, they stole her pendant or whatever. <clears throat> Can't bear to see you like this. <laughs> Think she'd want me to just finish the job? Hates hospitals. <sighs> Kidding. Kidding. Marie, please come back, baby. Can't go on without you. Oops. Gotta go now, babe. <laughs> you need your rest. Been a rough night. Uh. Doctor hangs the patient's chart. Leave the monitor alone. It will alert the staff. She goes into stress. Can't change the medication by yourself. Jeez. We're having so much fun. What with all the getting run over and the poop rides. Guess there's nothing else like, to be done. Get the bastard who did this, babe. I swear it. Fellow officer drives you back to your car at the mall. You fight to focus your rage, grief, and sense of violation is something you can live with. <laughs> Dang. What you end up with is a burning desire to find and crucify the slime that hurt your wife. Somebody out there picked the wrong man to mess with. <clears throat> this game is so serious. It's a mix of serious and absurd, which is why I like it. Like another one bit the dust, huh? Understand you were here before they removed the victim. Did you catch any dying words? Notice any signs of sexual assault? Anything at all? <laughs> Dude, it's my wife. Spotted your silence, the reporter says. Damn, he's a reporter. Well, if you don't want to talk to me, I'll just get the information elsewhere. God, what a scumbag. Reporter. <clears throat> this game is anti-press. It probably is. Pro it's all things pro-cop. Looks like one of those ambulance chasing reporters. One of the uniformed officers is busy searching the scene of the crime. Reese Trans Am still sits in the poorly lit parking lot of the mall. And the car for clues, but find nothing. Dude, Trans Am. The car. Officer is intent on the search and ignores you. Turn on the flashlight, turn your flashlight on, begin a search of the scene. <clears throat> Parking lot, black top. Reese Trans Am still sits in the poorly lit parking lot of the mall. And the car for clues, but find nothing. Large street. Oh, we can move the light around. Stay clear of this area, Sonny. We're sweeping for evidence. All right, I'm just over here sweeping too. Don't oh, mind me. Doing a little sweeping of my own. Yeah, 
Yep, it's all checking out. Guess we should leave? I don't know. <clears throat> Too dark. Trust the boys will do a good job. Isn't this my car or is this my car? Maybe this is my car. I guess I don't remember. Physically and emotionally exhausted, you decided to go home and get some rest. Damn, nice house. Damn, five in the morning. Noon, slept in. I mean, sort of. I only slept for like less than seven hours. When half asleep, you recognize Captain Tate's stern voice. Bonds, rise and shine, pal. Need you back in homicide today. We've got work to do. Report in plain clothes. Sleepily reply. Be there before 1400 hours, Captain. Tate, waking up without Marie next to you. Tough game. Go through the motions of getting ready for work. Make the bed. Anything you could do with the bed wouldn't be any fun without Marie. Just make it, you slob. Marie was so excited about buying this house. She loved decorating this room and picking each accessory. <clears throat> You're right, it's not fun to make the bed. Music box. Ooh. Got points for that. Maybe I can play it for her. We used to curl up in that chair for hours. This was your favorite little reading area. This is day two. I'll get out of here. <laughs> Let me out of here. The walking is so slow. I made it too slow. But the talking is too fast. Okay, can I get out of here? Is this the way out? Oh my god. <clears throat> Slightly irritated Captain Tate says, Come on, Bonds, time to roll out. Gotta go catch the bad guys, remember? Get it in gear. I uh I'm leaving now. <laughs> Come on, Captain. Wife got stabbed last night. The damn coma. Me some slack. Oh, 
Okay, I think this might be a good place to call it. At the police station. Uh, police business. And we're reporting for homicide. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of information. Stuff that I will learn next time. Anyway, this game is sick. Do you guys like it? Pretty cool. I got hit by a car a lot. I shot that guy in the head. Hit him with my nightstick. It's a bit heavy. It's it's a little heavy. It's definitely a different tone than Tex Murphy, that's for sure. This is a little more, it's supposed to be a little more realistic, but you can, there's still funny stuff that happens. But you know, if you can't handle it, then, okay, I understand. But a mature subject matter. Okay, I think that's going to do it for me. I'll be back. Uh, I think I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll probably play this again. I feel like we made good progress. 68 of 460. That's over 1 8th. Seems good. Oof. <laughs> This could take a while, it could. Or it might go really fast. I mean, I might get stuck on stuff. So that'll be interesting. Like we really haven't done any puzzles yet of any sort, aside from figure out how to arrest that crazy guy without getting blocked in the jaw. I guess that was a puzzle. But I think there's some tricky stuff later. I, I kind of vaguely remember some Kind of puzzly elements. We'll see. I think it's fun though. Okay. That's it for me. Have a good night. And thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.